The relationship between guitar hero Pat Metheny and the Montreal audience is a love story with no limits and no end. Winner of the Miles Davis Award in 1995, Pat Metheny reflects on the importance for a jazzman to come up with his own style, his own sound, and he acknowledges his relationship to the Festival International de Jazz de Montréal. Well, you know, it's an interesting phenomenon that I, I, as time goes by, feel that may be a little bit particular to the age group that I'm in. Um, I was very fortunate to be around musicians who demanded that you come up with your own thing. Um, it was really drilled into my head from a very early point in the Kansas City days that I was learning that it was not cool to sound like Wes Montgomery. It was not cool for a trumpet player to try to sound like Miles. It was not cool to try to sound like whoever. The idea was to come up with your own thing and for me that was then reinforced by the musicians that I wound up being around like Gary Burton, Steve Swallow, Mick Goodrick, Bob Moses, Jaco Pistorius. These were all musicians who were determined to find their own way and to come up with their own view of music and for me it wasn't even an option to think of trying to sound like somebody else. I mean I, it was almost like a it was almost the same as a, a mistake for me if I happened to drift into something like that sounded like Wes Montgomery. The thing is, as time has gone by, I realize I, maybe I was wrong because now there's people who have major careers and, and, and get a lot more kind of like, you know, respect in a way, sounding very much like other players. And in fact, you know, there was a real reaction to, to guys who were trying to be very individualist type players, you know, that happened later, sort of after me chronologically. I mean, I, you know, I still actually believe myself that you have to find your own thing, that it's, it's an essential part of what, what the whole language is, is to bring things that are particular to who you are to the music that, um, that give some kind of window into another point of view. I, I kind of go back to before the beginning with the Montreal Jazz Festival because the uh, Andre and Ale and the, the the guys that kind of you know are the the founders and the the president and vice president of the whole thing you know used to they were the first people to ever present my band in Montreal and um, you know we've had a very close relationship all the way along and um, you know as I've had with many other promoters around the world. That's not really the, the thing. The thing is that they really know how to present music and they really allow each musician to present what it is that he or she does kind of in its own way in a setting that's appropriate to that music. And that's, it seems like a no-brainer, but it's amazing how rare that is in the world of jazz festivals.